Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery, and thank y'all so, so much for 4,000 subscribers. So yeah, thank you all so, so much. I just hit 4K today, and thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Avery, and I love romance books. <laughs> One of the reasons that I hit 4,000 subscribers is because of Jess from Peace Love Books. Thank you so much, Jess. She shouted me out in a recent video, and I hit 4,000 that same day, so thank you so, so much, Jess. I love you, you are the sweetest. So this video is going to be a q and I don't think I've done a QA and a in over two years on my channel. And so yeah, I asked y'all some questions on my community page here on YouTube in one of my previous videos and on Instagram. So I'm gonna compile those questions and answer them for you. Before I get into the questions, I have a little announcement. Um, so, I opened up my own Etsy shop. So I opened up a bookmark Etsy shop. Um, I am always gonna have it linked down below from now on. Right now I'm making watercolor bookmarks, um, but I have in the past made, um, I forget the name of it, but it's like alpha tie knot bracelet bookmarks. I have made those and I'm thinking about getting back into those, but all of those supplies are back in my apartment um, and I'm currently staying with my parents. Um, during the summer so i have to wait a little bit to make those but yeah i want to show you a few samples that i have and y'all can go check them out right now i only have a limited limited supply for a few of them so first we have a personalized bookmark that you can order from me so this is made to order and i know it's a little hard to see right now but there you go um this is a personalized watercolor bookmark um you can order any color you want on the bookmark any uh word or saying make sure it's short so we can like fit on here though um you can add the ad symbol you can't you can just have a name a channel name your name your dog's name whatever the case and then you can also pick whatever color you want you can do one color or at most two so i can blend two colors together so you have like for example uh one of my friends just ordered one from me and so one side was purple one side was gold and so then i merged them to make one color in the middle kind of thing um so yeah, you can order a personalized one if you'd like. We then have this one, which says Dark Romance Queen on there. I had to make this one for all my dark romance lovers out there. I then of course have a Ice Planet Barbarian one. So this one says Ice Planet Barbarian Stan. I also have another Ice Planet Barbarian book. I don't have a um, sample on me right now. Um, they're upstairs, but um, you can check that one out as well. I then have a, um, a Court of Thorns and Roses quote on here. As you can see, this is probably one of my favorite quotes in the entire series, but it goes from blue to purple, as you can see. My like bestseller right now, the one that's selling the most, is my Romance Reader one. Um, I'm sorry, it's washed out right now, but it's pink. It says Romance Reader on it. So yeah, these are all watercolor paintings. I know that they're not perfect. They're all hand-drawn and hand-painted. So if you have a perfectionist mind, <laughs> these may not float your boat, but I think they're pretty fun and pretty cool and um, I feel like they're pretty unique. So if you wanna check out one of these, be sure to check out my Etsy shop down below. They are selling for $3 a piece, except for the personalized ones are just 50 cents more. Also, I just wanna give a fair warning. These are made out of watercolor paper and watercolor paint. And so if you get them wet, they will bleed. So you have to be pretty careful with these. So if you wanna check out my bookmarks, please go check out my shop down below. So let's get into these questions. Okay, so my first set of questions are from Instagram. Um, my lovely friend Hannah Grace asked me, have you ever considered writing your own romance book? Yes, I have. I actually kind of planned out a book my sophomore year of college. I even like sticky notes on the wall of a book I wanted to do and I kind of had it planned out except for the ending. I've started many books and like planned out many books but it's always endings of books that I don't really know what to do with because I don't like um third act breakups at all and I I always struggle to find a resolution to a book and so I've never fully written a book but I definitely have written little snippets or scenes from books that I'm interested in writing um and the book that I started writing my sophomore year of college I haven't looked back at it at all and like gone back into it but it's definitely one that I think about every now and then that I think I might start up again next question is what was the book that got you to start reading this much um let's think I don't know I've always read a lot of books I have a vivid memory of me in like fifth grade and one of my teachers like coming up to me or a teacher aide I don't know someone was I think observing the class like another teacher or something was observing the class and she came up to me and was like hey I noticed you have a new book almost every week that you're here 
like, do you read that fast? And I was like, yeah, duh, like, does no one else do that? <laughs> um, and so I think at that time, I remember, I, that's one of my vivid memories I have as a child. I was reading um, A Little Princess, and man, I love that book, but um, I don't remember a specific book. I was, I've always been a reader. You can ask my parents, I've always collected books since I was a kid. I've always been a reader. One series that I remember as a child that I was totally obsessed with was definitely though um, the Magic Treehouse books. I was thoroughly obsessed with those. Deja asked me, do you remember how you found BookTube? I don't remember the specific video or person that I watched, but I definitely remember the BookTubers that got me into BookTube. Um, I remember watching, I think it was Sasha from a book Utopia. I was really obsessed with her growing up because I just felt like um, we were very similar and we liked a lot of the similar book, a lot of similar books. Um, and then I was also obsessed with Christine Ratio. But I don't really follow those people anymore. I've realized like it's okay to unsubscribe from people. It's okay to change your booktube tastes. I am not a primarily, primarily young adult reader anymore, you know? And so I don't really follow big booktubers anymore. Um, but I do thank those big booktubers for getting me into this category of YouTube. I'm very grateful for them, but I don't necessarily watch them anymore. Heather asked me, do you prefer drawing or watercolors? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really like both. I just recently got into watercolors. I think I definitely prefer drawing as a whole for watercolors. The only thing that I'm really good at are these bookmarks. <laughs> I've been like trying out watercolors with different like types of um, media, you know? And it just, I haven't been able to like get it done right. <laughs> I have like horrible samples of things that I've done, like big like um, canvases or paintings on like watercolor paper and it just, it's not good. And so these though, these bookmarks are probably the best things that I can do and that I really like. I really like the mix of watercolor and ink pens and everything. I really like that. So I feel like I might like watercolor on top of drawing. So like you put both together, I feel like that's more my style. And she also asked me, oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> um, given a chance, would you move far away or stay local forever? That's a tough question. It's like a double-edged sword here. I live in Texas, like probably one of the hottest places ever. Um, and I don't do well with heat at all. Don't do well with heat if I pass out if I get too hot. So um, I definitely feel like I should be living up in the North because of how much colder it is than it is in the South because it gets like 200 degrees here over the summer and that's normal. And that's not the case up north. <laughs> um, but I don't think I'd ever move out of Texas in all honesty, just because my family is here and I'm a big family person and I could not stay that far away from my family. I'd get super homesick. Then Crystal asked me, how do you prioritize books on your TBR? That's a good question. But I think my answer is really simple in the fact that I mood read, you know? <laughs> or, 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 or. Um, my hold will be running out of it soon. <laughs> so for example, if it's on Libby, I do the majority of my reading through audiobooks on Libby. If the hold is running out soon, I gotta pick it up. When it comes to like just other books, it just depends on what I'm feeling in the moment um, and just my mood. So those were all the questions on Instagram. Now I'm gonna go to um, my comment section in my book haul that I filmed. I asked y'all to leave some questions down below. What's your favorite book of all time? and favorite book of 2020, so 2021 so far. Goodness, I cannot talk. Um, 2021, you'll probably already know this. It is Actor A.G. Brown by Tally Hibbert. I adore this book, romance book, all about Eve Brown and her uh, romance with a grumpy guy named Jacob. It is so good, I love it. My favorite book of all time is really hard. I have many favorite books of all time. My favorite romance book of all time is definitely Radiance by Grace Draven. That is the epitome of a romance book to me amazing amazing book a friends to lovers book i know that not a lot of people like friends to lovers but many of my friends who don't like friends to lovers read this book and fell in love like friends to lovers i feel like a lot of the time is done wrong like it's not done in the right way this one is done correctly just so you know when it comes to other favorite books i don't i don't have a favorite book of all time but i do love i'm a classics girl in some sense it has to have romance in it basically my, my favorite book for a while was Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I love that book so much. I feel like this book kind of like stemmed my love for governess romances, age gap romances, 
forbidden romances. Like, I feel like that was the start for me. I also love Pride and Prejudice. I love a bunch of other books. <laughs> Um, probably my favorite young adult book is Salt of the Sea by Brutus Apetes. That book ripped my heart out. This is a historical fiction young adult book um, taking place during World War II and taking place on the Wilhelm Gluslav, which was a shipwreck known for the most human casualties of all time. It's really good. But man, it's a, it's a sucker punch in the gut, y'all. Next, someone asked me, would you recommend other people make a booktube channel? Of course. I was so hesitant on making a booktube channel. And the main reason why I made one four years ago was simply because I was depressed. Like I needed a pick me up. I needed a form of happiness and books are that form of happiness for me. And I fully believe that if you join booktube and you join a certain community, a part of booktube, because there's so many different subcategories of booktube, you know, you have like romance tube, you have like classic booktube, you have um, science fiction, fantasy booktube, you have young adult booktube. Like there's so many diff different subcategories of booktube, but I feel like each one is totally welcoming and amazing. And specifically, I love romance booktube, but I may be biased, but I feel like we're the best. <laughs> but I definitely feel like starting a booktube channel like everyone should have the opportunity up oh, man i cannot talk y'all opportunity to do it if you want to like go ahead do it it is so much fun and it is amazing you'll make lifelong friends here i swear then someone asked me um if you ended up on not hoth with a book only one which one would it be <laughs> This is a great question. I love this question. I think I might have to just go with a basic answer again. And that's uh, Radiance by Grace Raven. <laughs> Cause I could reread this book over and over and over again and I would never get sick of it. I would not, I love these two characters, their love story, everything. But I don't know, it'd be kind of hard to read a book on Not Hoth, I feel like, because it'd be so freaking cold. And like my, I don't know, I don't do well in the cold either as well as the hot. <laughs> So I don't know how those women do it on Ice Planet Barbarians. I couldn't, I could not. I would freeze my face off, freeze my face off. Then someone asked me, who was your favorite author on Kindle Unlimited? That is a very good question. Can I say Ruby Dixon? <laughs> I also love Emma Ham, fantasy romance writer. I love, um, I haven't read a lot of their books, but I really enjoy Tiffany Roberts. It's a husband wife duo that write fantasy books, wrote fantasy romance books together. Super fun. Those are the three that I can only think about at the moment. I know none of those were contemporary romance, but I feel like I read more fantasy or sci-fi romances on Kindle Unlimited. The same person asked me, would you ever do YouTube full-time as a career? Man, would I love to. I was actually just talking to my, my dad was joking about this earlier because I was like, I hit 4,000 subscribers. He's like, oh my gosh, uh, I can't wait to the date then you can just support us with your YouTube money. And I was like, dad, that will never be a thing. <laughs> um, the thing is though, like the, the pay for YouTube is probably not as much as people think. I um, only get paid, so far I've only gotten paid like once every two to three months. It depends on how well my videos do each month. And it's never more than $150 so far. So like, it's not a lot of money. And so who knows, maybe one day if I get enough traction, I have no idea. I feel like the only people that can make YouTube a full career are those who have like over 100,000 100, subscribers for sure. Cause they're making enough money, I feel like. But like, I don't see, I don't really see myself getting above that point. Like my favorite, some of my favorite romance booktubers, like, like Jess just hit five, fifth, whoa, I cannot talk, dang. 50,000 subscribers, which is flipping amazing. And I think Radley and Marie is up there as well. And like, um, I don't know how much money they make. They both have different jobs, I'm pretty sure. Like they both have other jobs other than YouTube. And so like, I don't see, I, right now I don't see myself doing that for sure. Um, would it be amazing to do that? Of course. The next question is, do you want to explore the biblical side of books, like biblical, the biblical genre in the future and what are your beliefs? Okay, that is a, that is a hitter of a question. Um, my beliefs, I am a Christian woman. Um, I personally am non-denominational. Um, I personally don't feel like you need to be a part of a denomination to have a relationship with God. I don't, I don't feel like you do at all. That's my personal opinion. Um, I don't hate denominations or anything like that. There's just me. I personally feel like I do not need to be in a certain denomination to have an amazing beneficial relationship with God. When it comes to the biblical side of books, um, I have read a few Christian fiction romances. Um, I don't 
see myself reading any other kind of biblical books other than the Bible, of course. I mainly see myself probably reading Christian fiction romances. Specifically, I loved Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. I adored that book. I have a whole entire vlog of me reading that. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Um, but I adored that book. Um, I feel like I'd only really read Christian fiction romances if people say that it is phenomenal. If it's not phenomenal and if I have, like, I don't really want to waste my time. I have read Christian fiction books that have really made me upset just because of the things discussed in those books and just the content within them do not coincide with what I believe in, which is no hate on the author or the book itself. However, I fully respect everyone's religious beliefs and everyone's denominations and everyone's religions. And I am fully open to reading about those stories and those romance stories. So next I have, what are your dreams slash goals in life? Man, I love this question. Uh, my overall goal in life has always been to be a mom. I want to be one so bad. Um, I joke about how I'm becoming a teacher to make up for the fact that I have no children, you know? <laughs> so I can get my child fix in somewhere because I love teaching children. I love communicating and talking to them. Um, if you didn't know, I have a really severe social anxiety. Um, like you probably couldn't even tell by me on camera probably, but I have a really severe social anxiety. And whenever I'm around kids, that goes away. I do not feel socially awkward, socially anxious. I don't feel anxious at all. I am fully myself and I do not have my social anxiety literally at all when I'm communicating with children and I feel like that's like the best part of me like the best part of me comes out when I am teaching kids or hanging out with kids or taking care of kids and so I feel like this is my main passion in life I have no anxiety around it I do have anxiety around talking to parents in the future because social anxiety here um but um kids are definitely my main passion in life I I love them I love them um so being a mom is definitely something that I want to be more than anything else in the world. Um, I'm not really on the track to doing that right now because I'm not in a relationship at the moment um, and I never have been. <laughs> so I uh, that's probably not going to happen for quite a long time. Um, but other than that, it's probably just to live a fulfilling and amazing life, a passionate life, a romantic life. I want to meet the love of my life and have a lot of babies. I feel like that's that's probably my main goal in life. <laughs> and the last section of this video are two questions that um, people ask me on my community page. Emma asked me, what's your favorite movie? That is a hard question, Emma, why? <laughs> um, let me think. I have so many. Um, one that pops up, of course, is the 2005 version of Pride and Prejudice. A freaking masterpiece of a movie. I love How to Train Your Dragon so much. Let me think. Swan Princess has literally been my go-to movie for anything. I have loved that one since I was maybe six years old and I could probably recite every word for this movie. I've seen it so many times and I am never sick of it ever. I am never sick of this movie. I love Anastasia. I am sucker for the Twilight movies. I have marathons all the time for those movies and I am thoroughly obsessed with them. I think that's good for now. Those are a lot of movies but I don't have one. I have many. And then she also asked me, what's your least favorite book you've ever read? Oh, that is a question I might not know the answer to. Just because whenever I don't like a book, um, it kind of gets like thrown out of my brain. Oh, oh wait, I think I might know. So I don't know if it's necessarily my least favorite book of all time, but one of my least favorite books of all time is The Siren by Kiara Cass. Um, <laughs> Brie from Love and Words just posted uh, like a, a picture of it yesterday on her Instagram and it reminded me how much I do not like this book. I read this book my senior year, senior or junior year? No, it was my junior year of high school. They just re-released this book because I feel like, I think that Kiara Cass wrote this book years ago and they republished it with a brand new cover, which is this cover. And I found it at the bookstore at Barnes and Noble and I picked it up, of course, because I loved the selection series by Kiara Cass. So I was like, amazing, awesome, another Kiara Cass book. Man, did I hate this book. I was sick, I think my junior year of high school. And so I could not play softball. Um, that year and I sat in the dugout for quite a long time and so uh, just like watching them practice or whatever because I still had to be there you know and my teammates can just hear me like screaming in frustration the entire time I'm reading this book I hated it it's so bad it is bad oh my gosh Emma she asked me why are you so awesome 
I don't know. You're awesome. I love you. You're amazing. Um, oh my goodness, another person just commented while I'm filming this. Amazing. Um, they asked me if you could switch places with any character, who would it be? <gasps> Good question. Um, I feel like I kind of want to switch places with a bunch of people. Um, I might want to switch places with one of the girls in Ice Planet Barbarians because... Like, I want to be on a Hoth, but I also don't, like I explained earlier. But, like, I want to be with, like, a blue alien man. You know? And then, recently, I read Nerdgasm by Kimberly Reese. And I kind of want to switch places with the heroine in that book so that I could have the hero. And his name is Theo. And he is my kind of hero. Like, that is my kind of um, guy that I want in a relationship is Theo. And so, I might want to switch places with her just so I can have... Theo. <laughs> and then Deja also asked me, do you remember how you discovered booktube? Um, I think she asked me that earlier. Um, and so I think I already answered this where like, I don't really remember the specific video that I saw, but I do remember watching Sasha and just being obsessed with her and Christine Riccio because I was obsessed with, um, Akatar and Throne of Glass and she had all those all those video reviews but again I don't necessarily watch those people anymore but I'm very grateful for them for getting me into this side of YouTube for sure so there you have it those are some answers to some questions uh, again thank y'all so so much for submitting all these questions and thank y'all so so much for 4,000 subscribers I love you all so so much and yeah thank y'all so so much for watching I will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all